Now ahead of the 29th of May inauguration of the Nigerian Duty Bearers, the Women's Rights Advancement and Protection Alternative with other civil society organizations under the umbrella of Joint Body in Abuja uh, launched a research report, uh, report project on political accountability and elections in Nigeria. This is stated in a bid to set up areas uh, requiring improvement for electoral integrity towards 2027 elections. Our correspondent Victoria Ayurinde reports. To drive political accountability and tackle the issue of monetization of elections, the subgroups of community engagement and that of election integrity and accountability conducted a citizen perception survey, which they say is aimed at improving electoral process and inclusive governance. In Abuja, stakeholders revealed that the 2023 post-election review's goal is to advocate for policy and practice change that strengthen commitment to accountability from elected and appointed duty bearers. For us at a critical point, a handing over moment, a moment of reality of what we have seen in our elections, a moment of reality of what we need to grapple with coming into 2023 until 2027. The hope is that between this meeting and what happens in the next 100 days, we should be able to see some of the aspirations of Nigerians coming into uh, play. We, the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, ably represented in this room and online, are here to speak to the new incoming government. We are not here to raise lamentations. We are here to walk away forward and to remind each other of our respective responsibilities as governed and governance. Professor Oke Ibeanu, former INEC Federal Commissioner, in his address says electoral accountability results from electoral integrity and citizens' action, therefore the need for accountability in the decision that affects citizens' lives. Public officials, um, both through election and other means, are held are accountable for their positions which they hold in trust to the public and therefore it is the wishes of the public that should drive their work. It is a principle that individuals hold public positions temporarily and that in the period they occupy those positions their responsibility is to serve the public for clearly defined purposes. A major tenet of accountability, and indeed political accountability, is responsibility on the part of officials. Also speaking, Dr. Koli Shetima, Africa Director, MacArthur Foundation, said the organization is collaborating with, this, with other CSOs to ensure an environment for political accountability. We also have to think about our own behavior. How do we, how do we behave? How do I react? You see so many of us as Nigerians, we always talk about Nigeria is bad, Nigeria is not good. <laughs> but then the next step we do is that we do also do the bad thing ourselves. So the question now is that yes, Nigeria is good, it's not good, it's bad, but how are we also contributing to this uh, work? A Muslim prayer at the beginning, a Christian prayer at the end, and in between them you do everything that what God said you should not do and other things. So the point then we're asking our faith leaders and others in that is that what what God says about good behavior, how do we treat government and public uh, activities? What should be the relationship between us and our neighbors? Does it all go into uh, Sunday prayers and um, Friday prayers and others? Does it only end in the mosque or the church? Or how does it really reflect as we as citizens, as people? How does it relate, relate to each and other things? Francis Onaho, Program Manager, Community Life Project, reveals that the project is to make a survey of 2023 elections outcome and to prepare for future elections. A lot of people during the survey did not have that much confidence in the electoral system. They believe strongly that um, uh, what has happened in the past will also repeat itself, that INEC will fail them. So, so, so the political party that we saw um, uh, was as a result of the fact that people did not believe that the, um, their votes were going to count. So, so what we are thinking going forward is how do we change that mindset? 
and we, we identify the fact that there, we need to do a lot of civic education, not just wait before uh, the elections. We can need to start now, to start doing that civic education. However, stakeholders have called on duty bearers come May 29th to be accountable, bearing in mind the needs of all Nigerians.